New World People, the New World official Twitter is blowing up and we have all the content coming in March. We know everything. They've done a spoilers without context post and they literally just tweeted something out. There are huge updates coming and I think everybody who's a current New World player or even if you're not playing right now, it should be super, super excited for what is to come. Now I'm gonna show you those tweets, I'm gonna talk through it with you, tell you what I think is coming, tell you what they've said is coming, and let's dig into it. But before we get started, please keep doing that weird YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, tell everybody you know. Follow us on Twitter, TikTok, join the Discord. Follow us on Twitch, we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting around 10.30ish, 11 a.m.-ish central time. We go for about five hours. Today it'll be more towards that 11 a.m. I have a huge announcement for stream today, so pop in there today if you're watching this video. And if you want to support me directly, feel free to hit up my Patreon. But big things coming out of New World. I, I think this is the next step to a plethora of incredible steps. So let's dig into it. Okay, so before we get into the really juicy confirmation tweet, I was just looking over. So I started recording this video just based upon this one. And then one came out while I was in the middle of recording and doing some things. So this is the one we saw yesterday. It came out uh, 2.48 p.m. yesterday. And first picture we see. The old Spider-Man meme. Everybody's pointing at each other. Now, what could this possibly mean? Uh, a couple different things. You know, maybe there's something going on. I don't know why there's the NYPD thing in the background, why they chose to keep it. But I think the biggest thing that could be coming out of this is 3v3 arenas. I think that's the most likely thing. I think that's what the comments really said. I think that's the general consensus on this. But I think that is going to promote a huge influx of new players, some really solid PvP content. I can't really think of anything else this might mean, maybe a new faction, I doubt it, but I don't really see a need for that either. I think 3v3 arenas is definitely what is coming out of this one. Next one, and I can confirm what this is, this is a new expedition focused on Isabella. It's going to be super cool. Again, this was a little bit more fun yesterday, not knowing what all of these men yet, but an Is Isabella Expedition, new content that's huge for new players or current players and retaining players, it's gonna be big. And this is the sort of thing that we are asking for. So I'm really excited there. And then what's this final one? Again, I can confirm this. First, I didn't know what this was. And then I realized that this is a gun. <clears throat> and then it's like a finger gun. And then I realized that this is not the blunderbuss itself, I don't think yet, but this is the blunderbuss announcement. And so I think this is a really cool way of AGS announcing everything, giving us a spoilers without context kind of picture. I love their Twitter, but I think we'll have 3v3 arenas, new expedition, and blunderbuss all coming in March. Now, let me show you why that is true. All right, so let me show you why all this is correct. About 22 minutes ago, so I'm recording at 10.32 a.m. Central Time, New World tweets, the blunderbuss isn't the only thing coming to a tournament in March. So that means we are 100% getting the blunderbuss. And then if you look at this picture, it says Heart of Madness. And click here to see what's coming. So what is this? Heart of Madness update reveal. This isn't a March update. This is a true content patch. And that picture alone looks sick. So this will be coming into the March version of the public test realm. And they wanted just to share the content before it releases into the new game and on the PCR, I'll be hitting the musket, I'll be hitting the expedition and showing everybody what's up. So this is going to be that Merc Guard expedition that has been there, Tempest's Heart. One, this looks super cool. That looks super cool. She looks super cool. This update's going to conclude the story of Isabella. The main story quest line picks up as you pursue back into Shattered Mountains, leading to an epic final showdown. Enter the Tempest Heart as you venture into a corrupted dimension of reality through the twisted capital of Merc Guard, Discover the secrets of her past as you dive deeper into her corrupted mind. So this is going to be for five players, gear score 550 and above. Interesting. So it's going to be higher than Laz and Jen, I think. I guess we don't really have a baseline gear score for Laz and Jen. Um, I don't think there ever has been. So I'm really curious to see what kind of gear score drops out of there. Maybe we'll get, you know, some 600 drops, I, I would assume. I don't really know what the gear score requirement is going to do just because I don't think Laz and Jen have a gear score requir requirement. So maybe it's like, you know, it's one of the expeditions you just can't do right away after hitting 60, which I think is a good addition. You know, give us some solid end game content that, you know, gets people a little bit excited for pursuing the end game. So that's, that's really, really cool. I think it's gonna be mechanically interesting uh, already. It looks like it's gonna have some stuff going on, but the things I want to know are, 
One, will we be able to run it as a mutator? Two, which I'm hoping. Two, what does this gear score 515 above entail? So is that, I, I understand that's to get in, but what does that mean as far as drops go? Three, um, will they make Merc Guard any different? Will they change anything with Merc Guard? Where's the entrance gonna be? It, it could be that entrance up at the church by Thorpe that Thorpe is just locked into and has not been able to have been touched. So I don't know, will Thorpe be in there? I don't know, but I think this kind of announcement is a big thing and just what we needed to capitalize right off of the February update. Now, the other thing, new weapon, Blunderbuss has been confirmed. So this is going to be a ranged weapon that offers high mobility coupled with close to mid-range damage. It's the first weapon to scale on strength and intelligence, making it a good compa companion for bruiser or mage builds. There's going to be a lot of cool hybrids that I'll be making based on this weapon. So we'll have to see uh, the damage output it has. Um, adventurers will be able to progress through two weapon mastery trees, allowing two distinct play, play styles. The containment tree is all about closing the gap, unloading hot lead into your enemy's face. I think this is probably going to be the meta one. Um, it, it, it just sounds like it. it uh, anything with gap closing, if you're a melee player, you can use this to close gaps. If you are a ranged player, you can use it to close gaps. And it kind of sounds like it might be like a rapier gap closer replacement. And then conversely, the Chaos Tree focuses on keeping your distance and bombarding areas with explosive AoE damage. So maybe it's a supplement to the mage builds, giving it some AoE. Maybe it's even something you throw on as a, um, you know, maybe you're like a spear boy or you are a rapier person and you want some AoE damage. Blunderbuss should be a pretty solid companion. Now, alongside the release of the Blunderbuss weapon itself, we're also releasing new legendary, legendary weapon quests. So that'll be cool if you want to do those. I haven't really been doing any of those. But I think Blunderbuss, it's, this content patch is going to be exactly what we needed. Expedition, new weapon, and then again, they haven't touched on 3v3 arenas, but they definitely spoiled it. It's there. There's something else there that they aren't telling us yet. Maybe it'll come later in March, and this will be our first March update. But hopefully they've been working on this a lot and it ends up being real smooth. Um, so we'll see new encounters in the wild, impactful balance changes across a variety of weapons and a huge swath of bug fixes. I, I just think this is everything that we needed. I think this is what I've been saying over and over and over again with all of these patch videos is that we just need to keep progressing forward. This is a step in the next direction. This is a step in the next direction, the right direction, right? We're not just sitting here doing the same little dumb things over and over and over again. We're actually adding in new content. We focused on bug fixes. We focused on more fluid gameplay. People are loving it. Sure, it's a little rougher on the edges still, but now start giving us more content. What I will say on this update is it's not really um, non-end game focused, but maybe there's going to be some more stuff that they just haven't touched on that helps people leveling up or people just hitting 60. Um, I, I think it'll be a ton of fun. So regardless, they have now confirmed for sure we have the Heart of Madness update, that being Tempest's Heart. So we have a new expedition with Isabella and the new weapon, which is the Blunderbuss, which can be a gap closer, close range, or a far away AoE explosive damage build. So I'll have build guides on that. But people, if you haven't been playing, get excited. Get excited. This should be coming soon, and I'll hit it on the PTR. But anyway, people, get excited. Get happy. There's tons of cool stuff coming. I'm ready for it. As always, thank you for all the support. Keep doing that weird YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, if you want to support me, feel free to hit up my Patreon. Uh, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Discord, all that stuff. And join the stream today. Big announcement. But otherwise, take it easy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you for being you.